Hi, I'm here with Kate Downing and we're talking about a ministry that's been going for a little while at Grace Chapel, but we really wanted to highlight it. Partly because we're really excited about what's going on, but partly because I think it's going to have an incredible impact, uh, not only on the church, but also on the community. So, Kate, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. What does Foster Friends want to do for the kingdom? What are you trying to accomplish? Yeah, well, so Foster Friends was started by foster families um, who really felt a need in the system, and we just want to stand in the gap for other foster families. So our hope for um, those who are within our church and within our family of believers is to encourage and equip and build up each other. And for those who are not um, yet believers, we just hope to show them God's grace. We hope to show them the unconditional love um, that we've all received through serving them and encouraging them and also equipping them. In the U.S., there's about 450,000 foster kids um, in the system right now. And in California, it's about 60,000. So if you narrow that down to L.A. County, we're about 35,000 kids um, in foster care. So well over half the kids in California are here in LA County. Um, and in the Antelope Valley specifically, about 58% of foster families quit after the first year. And they've done lots of surveys on this, and the number one reason that they say is lack of support and lack of training. And so that's really um, one of our main missions at Foster Friends is that we want to support these families and we want to help them feel equipped to continue in where God is calling them. So there are some elements to right. what you're trying to accomplish. Give, give us an idea of what those are. So we provide um, supplies when a family gets a new child into their home. Um, so we show up with a duffel bag full of necessities, full of hygiene items, comfort items, um, and then encouragement. Um, we're saying we're your community, we're here for you, um, we're praying for you. Um, and then we have ongoing meals for those families as well. So once a week they get to pick a day that would be most beneficial to their family. And we show up with dinner from a local restaurant. Uh, no questions asked, just here's dinner, have a good night, we are here for you. Again, we are praying for you, we want to serve your family. So we have a support group um, that meets the first Tuesday of every month um, here at Grace Chapel at 530. Um, and then we also have a respite day where we um, are able to give foster families a much needed break. We um, give them a gift card to go have fun together as a family, just the parents. And then we hang out with the kids for a few hours. We feed them, we play with them, um, and just give foster families a break because they don't get that too often. Oh, that's good. Now as a part of the support uh, group meetings, there are times where there's actual hours that they can accumulate as well. Correct, yes. Okay. So we have worked it out to where um, we can give training credits. So foster families are required to get anywhere from six to 10 hours of continuing education credit basically per year. And so when they come to support group, they do get one hour of training credit per support group meeting. Cool, that's great. Yeah. Um, okay, so how can Grace Chapel help you? Well, we need, um, I would say first and foremost, we need prayer. I would love to have a group of people who are committed to praying for this ministry on a regular basis. Um, and then we also need volunteers, whether you have one hour to spare, you, you know, from home, or you have many hours to spare where you'd like to deliver meals. Um, we have something for everybody. So if you feel God is calling you to serve foster families, we would love to get you plugged in and find a spot that will work well for your family. This is a great opportunity to serve with your children, with your entire family. Um, and then we also need support. We need um, people who are gonna come alongside this ministry and say, I believe in what God is doing through this. Um, we've said all along, it's from God and it's for God, and so we really need support to continue that ministry. So if you are a foster family, please reach out to us. We would love to get you connected, to support you, to serve you. Um, and again, if you would like to help serve those foster families, reach out and we can get you connected for those events. And how do they connect? So if you see me at church, please stop me, say hello. I would love to just chat all things foster care. Um, it's my passion, God has called me to this and I just, I love it. I, I love where he has led me to serve in this ministry. So um, stop me, let's chat. Um, you can also reach out on the website, avfosterfriends.org um, and we can go from there. Wonderful. Well, I really, really hope that, uh, that you'll find a spot uh, in your day, your calendar to, uh, to help some foster families. Uh, it's a joy. Bless you guys.